work. There was no sign of trouble before the blast. Well, six people on that rig were flown to USA Medical Center in Mobile. Five were treated and released, but one man is still at USA's burn unit tonight. A Fox 10 News reporter, Cherish Lombard, is joining us live from the hospital. Cherish, what do you know so far? Well, Anise, of course, the U.S. Coast Guard says there were 126 people on the oil rig when it exploded. Eleven of them are still missing. Of the people that were rescued, 17 of them required medical attention, and one of them is still receiving treatment at the burn unit here at USA Medical Center in Mobile. No one expects an oil rig to explode, but the people who go out and work offshore are supposed to be trained what to do just in case it happens. One of the places that trains them is right here in Mobile. We've always been the specialists in the area doing Red Cross um, swim lessons and lifeguard training. Uh, a couple of years ago, we moved into helping the workplace where they are in the water in survival swimming and, and uh, rescue. Complete Safety Works is a local company that trains anyone who works near water. It's all about safety in and around the water. And before they started these trainings, people would just drown. They would panic. Now they're finding that if they have some training and if the training is ongoing and they keep being reminded, many times they can get out safely. Avery Fick says the people involved in the oil rig explosion last night should have been given instructions on what to do in the event of an emergency. Generally that if you are offshore, you're on a rig, it is designed so that people can be safe and be rescued safely. They have ways to go to safe havens if there's a, an, a, an emergency. They have ways to get them into water in a, in a vessel. The men and women are trained to jump off the rig only as a last resort. The chemicals and the gases and the vapors that are heavier than air that would sink, um, the, the debris and the um, and things that they can't see and smoke and things to fall on and through, um, all very dangerous to anyone. If you find yourself in the water, you know, do your very best to, to stay calm and keep your eyes open and watch for help. Now, as I mentioned earlier, 115 of the people who were on the oil rig when it exploded were rescued. Now, as of now, we have not received the names of any of the people injured in the explosion. We'll pass any new information along to you as soon as we receive it. Lenny.